How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at Dodge's brand new uh, jailbreak package that they're going to be offering with the new 2022 and uh, newer uh, Charger and Challenger Hellcat Red Eyes. And now before we get into this video, uh, definitely be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already uh, for more vehicle reviews, automotive news videos, uh, DIY videos and car show videos and stuff like that. Uh, I'm a smaller YouTuber and it definitely helped me out a lot. And also definitely consider liking the video down below. It, again, it really helps me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. But anyways, getting into this article by Car and Driver, we can see that uh, Dodge is really just, you know, again, they're just focusing so much on their Hellcat lineup. Uh, basically, this new jailbreak op uh, jailbreak package, excuse me, uh, is just going to offer a bunch more customization options when it comes to the Hellcat Red Eyes. The, now, mind you, this is kind of weird because this is something that's only going to be offered with the Red Eyes and not like a normal Hellcat. And pretty much all it does is add 10 extra horsepower through, I'm assuming, just a, a tune, uh, like a factory tune. And it just adds a bunch of different customization options. Now, I do think the customization options are awesome. I think the little 10 horsepower increase is kind of just a little added incentive to get this jailbreak package. Is it worth it? I mean, in my opinion, not really. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. But again, this, as you can see, the jailbreak package does, you know, offer 807 horsepower for the car instead of the regular 790 or uh, 797 horsepower that you find in the uh, normal red eyes from factory. Now, looking at this actual reveal video, uh, they don't, this is actually the official video. Uh, there's no sound on it or anything. I'm not going to put any you know, of the sound on because I do think that there's copyright music in it. But we do see a bunch of different color combinations with stripes, uh, different brake calipers, and a bunch of like weird, wacky colors that you definitely wouldn't see on you know normal Hellcats or normal Hellcat Red Eyes. And going further down into this car and driver article, they pretty much show all the different things that you can now customize uh, with these uh, Red Eyes. So you have seven different options for seats, stripes, and wheels six different brake caliper color options, which is pretty cool. Uh, five exterior badging finishes, which is also something that's a pretty cool uh, feature that they did add. Four choices for steering wheels, seat belt colors, and floor mats. So just a ton, a ton of different customization options, which you previously didn't really get with the Hellcats. I know, I bl believe I did do a building and pricing, you know, cars I can't afford video on a Hellcat. I know I did it on the super stock, but I'll leave that linked on top of the video uh, right now for you to go check out if you haven't already. Uh, but Dodge definitely wasn't one of those brands that included a lot you know, of customization options. So I think this is cool that they're doing this, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of like beating a dead horse. Uh, the Hellcats have been out for how many years now? Like almost a decade, I think they're pushing. I do think Dodge should definitely put a lot more focus into improving some of the Hemi models, maybe the 392 models, and even like the V6 models, like uh, uh, just because I feel like there's not a lot of R&Ds that goes into those uh, trims, but pretty much all their R&D is focused on the Hellcat models. Now, another thing that I don't really like about this is that after you get this like little $900 or $1,000 a jailbreak package for your Hellcat Red Eye. You're pretty much just a single horsepower off, as you can see right here, from the 808 horsepower Dodge Demon. Now, I know the Demon is very special because they only made, I believe, like a thousand Demons originally, and they're only in the Challenger body style. They're not in the Charger body style. But uh, with the, you know, the, with the Challenger Super Stock, with these new, you know, Hellcat Red Eye jailbreak editions or whatever, I, I don't like that it's kind of starting to take away some of the initial like value that was put on the demon and don't forget when the uh you know Dodge Demon originally came out it was you know kind of be like the first like nine second quarter mile muscle car just straight from the factory and uh, it was it's something that still is a very very special car I mean I feel like if you see a Hellcat on a Hellcat on the road, like that's that's really cool. Like I love Hellcats. I did a review on a 2015 Hellcat Charger. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out because 
It was about a little over a year ago now, like two summers ago. And it was basically needless to say, my first like initial reaction of going full throttle on a Hellcat is in that video and it's pretty priceless. Uh, I, I love the Hellcats. I mean, they're boats, they don't corner well, but in a straight line, they are super, super badass. They're a boatload of fun, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> But something about a demon, like if you see a Dodge demon on a road, like you, first of all, you rarely, rarely see them. Uh, you probably see like Lamborghinis more than you see Dodge demons, just because again, the limited amount that was originally produced. But if you see a demon at like a car show, car meet, whatever, like that, that's a special, special vehicle. And uh, I mean, I could be wrong, but personally, I just feel like, you know, with the introduction of the super stock and with the introduction of this kind of latest jailbreak package for the Hellcat Red Eyes. And even with the introduction of the Hellcat Red Eye themselves, like I just feel like all the added little trims that Dodge is doing and just really kind of just marketing the Hellcat brand, I guess, it, it, it's almost like making, taking away a little bit of, uh, of that value and that, you know, specialness, I guess you could say from the original Dodge Demon. Now, although I did have some criticism for this jailbreak package, there are a lot of things that I like about it. And specifically, I do like the different heritage editions that are going to be offered now because of these uh, jailbreak package, Hellcat Red Eyes, whatever you want to call them. I don't know how specifically how they're going to be referred to in the, you know, sales room once they actually, you know, start hitting Dodge and Mopar dealers. But as you can see, like right here, uh, this is a very classic look. You have the kind of traditional black satin vinyl stripe on, on the side. I think that's probably gonna be vinyl stripe with the kind of military green on this wide body red eye. And with the yellow bray caliper too, it looks really, really awesome. Also pictured here, you can see like this kind of satin gray interior, which was another option that wasn't really offered in the traditional uh, Hellcats. And also over here, you can see this uh, charger finished in a purple. I don't think it's similar to the original Plum Crazy Purple on the original Mopars of like the 70s. I think this might be a little bit different, but again, now with this option, uh, it's definitely one thing that, you know, Dodge was lacking for sure, the ability to customize your cars like a whole lot. But now I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of Mopar enthusiasts are gonna be able to, you know, really order their own kind of one-off, you know, Hellcat Red Eye jailbreak packet. Now doing some of my own research on Mopars, I know, again, back in like the 70s, even like 80s and 90s, I know that, you know, basically when you went to order a car, this didn't just, you know, happen with Mopar, but when you ordered a car, you actually sat down at the dealership and they gave you a catalog and you picked out all these different options. And I do know that, you know, Mopar and Chrysler and, you know, Plymouth and Dodge and all, again, all the companies under Mopar were very, very famous for having so many different customization options. And I definitely feel like in the newer generations, that is something that has been lost. So again, that's, you know, another thing that I do kind of like with this jailbreak option package that's gonna be available now. Also like looking at this leather interior, for example, uh, that's another thing that I think is really, really awesome because I think when I did the review on the 2015 Hellcat, uh, when researching that, there was a limited interior options that actually came with that car and for the most part you can only get like really just a black interior and now finally you can see that again this package is starting at 995 i don't really know what that means though i don't know if that's just that's like your initial price to kind of get a jailbreak option package and then on top of that you're paying extra money depending upon what color you choose or what interior option you choose I mean, we all know how manufacturers like to play games and spe specifically like dealerships like to play games where they like to, you know, upsell and upcharge people. But keep in mind that also is on top of, you know, $85,000 for a new Charger Hellcat Red Eye or, you know, basically just shy of $83,000 for a new Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. So, I mean, if you're spending that much money on a new Hellcat Red Eye to begin with, that's you know, an extra thousand dollars or a few thousand dollars once you're done customizing everything might very well much be worth it for you. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say about this. Uh, in the comments of this car and driver article, there's definitely a lot of people that are criticizing it. Again, I think it's something that's kind of cool, but 
In the grand scheme of things, I definitely think Dodge should be focusing a little bit more R&D on some of the lower trims instead of just kind of beating the dead horse that is pretty much the Hellcat now. I mean, I love the cars, but after a while, like Dodge, they, they got to do something new. Like they got to change it up. They got to come out with new drivetrain, like something. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this new jailbreak package option down in the comments below. And again, like previously stated, definitely be sure to subscribe and alleviate a like on this video. It's absolutely free. Helps me out a lot as a smaller YouTuber. But like always, thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.